Welcome dear students. Welcome to the chapter thermodynamics. In this chapter, we start with knowing the basic terminologies in this module. Because by understanding these basic terminologies, we can understand the chapter better. Okay, let's see what are the basic terminologies that we are going to study in this module. Very, very basic terms involved in this chapter. First of all, what do you mean by thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is a branch of physics which deals basically with the conversion of heat energy into mechanical work or mechanical work into heat energy. So, it is the branch of physics which deals with the transfer of heat energy from one place to another and conversion of heat energy into mechanical work or vice versa. That is thermodynamics for me. Let's see a simple example. I've got a cylinder with me which is fitted with a piston you can see on the screen and which has got ideal gas in it. I supply the heat energy. How much I am supplying the heat energy? DQ amount of heat energy has been supplied. And this heat energy, what it does, please observe that. Then you understand the meaning of thermodynamics. This DQ supplied increases the volume of the gas. That implies it is pushing that piston upwards. So DW amount of work is done. How much work is done? DW amount of work is done. So heat energy supplied is converted into work and that is what is thermodynamics all about. Yeah. Let's try to understand different types of the systems. Yeah. What do you mean by thermodynamic system, surroundings, all that? Thermodynamic system is the quantity of matter, certain quantity of matter having fixed identity and mass. Fixed identity and mass. Let's see what is that? A certain quantity of matter, part of the matter having fixed identity and mass, we call it as thermodynamic system. Example, don't think big about thermodynamic system. It's little water you have got, you're going to boil that and then that water becomes a system for you. Maybe I've got gas in a cylinder, that is a system for me. Look at this example, water in a beaker, maybe 50 cc of water is there, it's a system for you. You are inspecting that. Yes, look at that. In a container, I've got gas, that is a system for me, having fixed identity and mass. Let's see what is surroundings. You must understand that anything other than the system in this universe becomes surroundings. Matter outside the system that becomes surroundings. So you have to understand that thermodynamic system continuously interacts with the matter outside the system and that matter outside the system we are calling it as surroundings. Look at that. Delicious coffee or maybe a tea is presented in the cup. That is a system for me. Now, this system is a tea or coffee. Remember, it interacts with something outside, matter outside, and that part which is outside the system, we are calling it as surroundings. We go into different types of systems right now. What do you mean by open system? Open system involves exchange of heat, energy, and matter between system and surroundings. Between system and surrounding, that system I am calling it as open system. If there is the exchange of heat and matter, takes place between system and surroundings, call that system as open system. Look at this. Piston and cylinder, you can see that in the picture, which has got gas in it, and you supply the heat energy. When you supply the heat energy, you can see that the gas expands, work has been done. Yes, excess heat energy is there. What happens to the excess heat energy that will go out? So it has got exchange of heat energy as well as the matter, and that system we are calling it as the open system. Let's go to the closed system means what? A system in which you have got only exchange of heat but not the matter. There is absolutely no matter is exchanged. Yes. See this. If the exchange is only heat energy but not the matter between the system and surroundings, we call it as the closed system. Cylinder provided with a piston having the ideal gas. You supply the heat energy. Remember, only the heat energy is exchanged between the system and the surroundings not the matter, you can see that, work has been done, but there is no matter has been exchanged. Let's see what is that work done, DW amount of work done, but no amount of matter has been exchanged between system and surroundings. Yes, well more ahead, isolated system, no exchange of heat and matter between the system and surroundings, let's see that, example, no exchange of matter and heat between the system and surroundings. Look at this, thermally isolated system, 
nothing is going inside, neither heat nor the matter. This system is called as isolated system. Non-conducting wall. Thank you.